Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Kind of reflection here, sorry about that. It's a, another rainy morning. Shannon's late again. <laughs> Big surprise there, huh? Take after your mom on that. Time means nothing to you guys, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Means means right? I means I guess not. I can't stand being late. I can't stand being involved in people being late. So sure is nice having the driveway here. Rain or shine, we can get up or down. Just starting to work on a turnaround path. So I can turn around much easier in the yard. Just pull in and go right around and pull right out. Be fantastic. Long way to go on that. Got my first cubic of gravel here. Got another one coming yet. Probably gonna need, I'm guessing, a total of eight would be my my guess, but nice and wet out, huh? Rained all night long. Not hard, but rain. Let's see, we're still in four wheel drive, aren't we? Stop here. coming up pretty quick, don't you? Yeah. When's after, that? Uh, after Christmas party is 22. Uh, 22, huh? Uh, that's What's today? 15 or something, isn't it? 14. 14, huh? Um, three days until your birthday. Three days until my birthday. Can you imagine that, huh? God, I must be getting old. So what do you need for your party? Um, a gift. For who? Um, uh, exchange gifts. Exchange gifts? No, I don't know. What's your limit? Um, the minimum is 30. Minimum is 30 pesos, huh? Okay. Usually everybody brings you a, a bag of chips, a couple of bags of chips or something, usually. Yeah. So, I have to find something for you, I guess. 30 pesos, huh? Uh, minimum. Yeah. Can exceed over that. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And it's you don't know who it's gonna go to though, right? No. Yeah. Last time it went to my friend. Yeah, she should probably give your teacher a coffee mug or something too, probably, huh? That? We should probably get your teacher a coffee mug or a candle or something, you think, or what? Maybe, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll look in town today. I like to know I like to know things ahead in advance so I can plan for them. You know, we got a tight budget and stuff. I can get usually get everything done that we need to get done, but I got to be able to plan and juggle things around. So I can't get that through your mom's head. And uh, she tells me stuff that the morning she's going to go do something or the day before, oh, we're going to go to Cebu for four days and we need 9,000 pesos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Good luck on that. Alright. There you go. Watch out, it's gonna be slippery now. Yeah. Okay, no screwing around. Okay. No hard playing after after class and stuff because of the coffin, right? Yeah. Alright, see you after a while. She does real good in class. Look at that here now. It's eight o'clock. We're late. The teacher's not even here yet. The, the room's still locked up. Monday was the same thing. The teacher never even showed up on Monday. No teacher, huh? No teacher? Okay. Gotta turn around here. Very few turnarounds on this on these Brungai roads. 
all the rain makes it tough too. But we should probably be able to pull right out of here, I would think. Two wheel drive. Oh, yeah. This truck gets a little better traction than BL's does. That's their garden. Look how nice their garden's doing there. Squash climbing up the fence. And yeah, I think it's the rain and the amount of sun they're getting. We're, we're having no luck at all in the garden at our house. I think also those girls there, they all have cow manure mixed in with their little garden. So maybe that's what we're totally lacking at our house is fertilizer, nutrients. on some kind of program. I like. I tried one time to have kids bring us up uh, cow manure in bags. I, like I told them, I'd pay them 50 pesos a bag or 20 pesos a bag, can't remember what it was. And <laughs> the next thing they're bringing up uh, bags with about a quarter full, you know, and they're thinking they're going to get, you know, paid for it and that. It's just, it's just discouraging. Everybody's just trying to get by. Uh, Without doing a full job. There's Perry. Perry's got a bike now, it's interesting. I wouldn't want to be riding on these bikes with these guys with no experience. But he's he's gonna learn fast because he's got about a mile and a half down the muddiest, nastiest road you can imagine to get out. We've been up to their house before and it's an adventure in the truck. I can't imagine it in the bike in the in the wet. I have to go to town. I need to go to the bank and check on something. And I need to find out about a a dollar account somehow, find out what the requirements for that are. I'll pass that along to you guys afterwards. Normally it's not that important. Uh, everybody I know has an ATM peso account, but it sounds like I need to have a, a dollar account for uh, Google AdSense. And again, you have to jump through their hoops and do whatever they want because because they're the only game in town and it's no big deal I think once we get it straightened around it'll be fantastic because you know it'll be great to start getting paid again we're lucky enough we did get the our address verified so that was a huge huge step I've been trying to do that since July 17 and uh, well actually not probably the end of July because it took a week to get to our payment threshold of $100, but we passed that a while back. That big bump there, that dip, they keep pouring, they keep pouring just fresh tar into it. They're not putting any rocks or any gravel into it, they're just filling the depression with tar. And I, I don't see what, what good that does, that, what good it does. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's Ricky. When it gets super hot, it's just soft. But they, they do things the funniest thing, the funniest way there. Everybody's a ham. But it sure was nice last night. Temperatures in the house were down below 80, about 79 degrees. It was comfortable as could be sleeping. or thunder, just a light rain, but it was steady the whole night, just like it is right now. It's just kind of a heavy sprinkle, but uh, it's great for the plants. It's not quite enough to make big puddles or anything in our yard anyway. Um, I'm hoping for things to dry up because I want to get working on that uh, turnaround for the truck. I drove down it twice yesterday, uh, once for a test drive and once to kind of scare my RV when we came home last night in the dark. It kind of just surprised her and dropped off the path into it. And uh, it seems to work pretty good except it's soft. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Ricky's place and get his one of his tampers uh, that they use for the, the room to tamp down the, the area where I feel the path's going to be. And then I'm going to put on maybe an inch or two of gravel on top of it. And then, uh, see now the weather's perfect. I'll probably spend this afternoon uh, transplanting plants, the bushes that I dug up, and sticking all the cuttings that I get off, all the, the tops that I cut off of the bushes. Start sticking those in all along where I think the path is going to be. Give myself maybe a four foot space on each side, something like that, but it'll look real nice when it's all done. And of course it won't, won't look like anything for six months to a year, but, but then it'll really look sharp, I think. Uh, the tough part is it all depends on our dry season from late December till July. Uh, this last year we didn't have one, it rained the whole time. Other years it stopped raining in the middle of December, not even a drop not even a drop until the first week of July, but normally, at least the last three years, it's been about almost to the dot, February 20th, there'll be a, a nice rain around 18th or 19th of February, and then nothing again until the middle of June, and that's where we're at, Burgess. In Talibun, they get quite a few more rains, I think because they're right on the water maybe, but uh, where we're at, we're, we're in kind of a dry belt, and uh, it's just like a desert. And it's, we've had a couple years so bad that the coconut trees even started turning yellow. And uh, it's almost like a what you call a fall here, because uh, about 60% of the leaves in the trees fall off, and Marfi, she'll be out there every other day sweeping the yard up. She can't stand seeing leaves on the ground. This would be one place it'd be nice to have one of those leaf blower things. That'd be pretty handy. But I've never seen one in the stores here. <coughs> now, there's something real nice. I think you won't be able to see it or not. Back behind us is a bike coming at us that's got a flashing front headlight. I'd like to get that for my bike. I think that make it so much more visible. <coughs> If there's a switch on it, you can turn it just to a straight light for a night, or that could even be a light below his uh, headlight. It's hard to say. It gets up a little closer, maybe I'll get a better look. But very visible. I saw him. I saw him almost a mile away coming up behind us. Just caught my eye in the mirror. So, and you are invisible here in the Philippines on a motorcycle. Drivers on the side streets and stuff, our side roads are just like the, the motorcycles and stuff. They don't even turn their head to look. They just pull right out wherever they want to, whether you're coming or not. They don't care. They expect you to stop. And uh, it's sad. One of our neighbors died yesterday, was killed on the highway. She walked up to the next little Rungai Baas to get some fish, and she was the, they call her a Hilu. She's the lady that does massages for everybody, an older lady, and she got her fish, was on the other side of the highway, got her fish, and turned around across the highway, didn't even turn her head from what everybody said, like everybody else here, walked right out in front of a motorcycle, got hit at highway speeds, uh, punched a hole right in the back of her head, and she was dead before she hit the ground. Nothing but a gallon of blood on the ground. Marfi was kind of upset about that, and uh, I tried to mention to her, you know, that's why I keep telling you to Walk facing the traffic, make sure you double check, look and listen, and then look again. 
That's how you do crossing or on a bike or wherever, you know. You're crazy if you don't. I've been drilling that in Shannon since she was little. I never, I even, even yeah, at 11 years old, <clears throat> if I'm with her, I still grab her hand when we cross the road in Talibone or anywhere. And, and she, she gives her hand up e eagerly because she knows the highways and the roads are dangerous. But we've, we've taught her good, and I have no worries at all about her being on her own. Um, I've, I've drilled in her head about, you know, you see these kids, they just run across the road and barely look or don't look, and it's the last kid that winds up getting killed because they're following their friends. And I told her, I don't care if your friends run across the road or whatever, you stop and look both ways before you do anything, then go if it's clear. Otherwise, wait a second. You know, what's it going to take you? Another... You know, 30 seconds or so, or a minute. This guy in the bike now, he's behind us again now. Isn't that nice? That's a, a light on his fender. His headlight's up by his handlebars. Let's see if he goes by here, see if it's just a little light or what. Yeah, it's a little light on the front of his bike. It's an LED light. That's very nice. So he'll be able to turn that off if he wants to at night. A guy like that probably leaves it on all night too, no doubt. Very annoying having them coming at you. It looks very bright. Uh, if I see that guy park in town, I'll ask him where he got it at. If something like that. It's probably only 100 pesos or 150 pesos or something like that. It's probably real cheap and can save your life easily. I'd like to get something like that for BL's truck for the back of his truck because he does, we don't have any tail lights at all. I think the brake lights work on this truck with the, there's no tail lights. The headlights work good. The emergency lights don't work. They never did. The blinkers never did. The blink, take it back. The blinkers have worked on and off, but they don't work regularly. Like there might be a short or something in there. The dash has been taken out so many times. It never did work when we when we first uh, started watching the truck either. But uh, I better wait for this bus. down front. That'd be nice. Parking's at a premium in Talaboon any hour of the day, unless you're there at 3 o'clock in the morning. Then you can park anywhere you want, but it's already 8 o'clock, so there's, I, I guarantee you there's probably not any parking spots at all in town. Only ones are way out by the municipal, which I don't mind parking there either, but in fact, you park there, it's easier to get out. There's Ian's truck. Hey! How's it going, guys? <laughs> we just ran into Ian on the road there. He was with his friend Paul, another Australian guy. Uh, guy it's, he's selling everything that he has. I wish I had some money. He's got some beautiful stuff there. He's got a, a, a proper tractor he's selling, a cement mixer. He's even selling bananas in pots. I'm going to go back there maybe later. I, I don't know why. I felt like I was missing something when I left the house and I forgot to bring my money. <laughs> so, but, uh, nice guys and had a real nice talk. Ian hates the camera, so I turned the camera off. And, uh, he's just worried about getting, uh, tagged or something as being a, uh, a rich foreigner or something and having problems, uh, you know, come to them eventually down the line or getting tagged with some of the foreigners here that are very ill thought of and uh, he just doesn't want to get you know, looped in with them. But I don't blame, I don't blame them, but you can't be too careful here. He 
said he was he was just getting ready to go. I don't know if you remember watching the video where we had the went to the baptism. That was that was him and his family. And I uh, showed a picture of a, uh, a nice Ford pickup truck. That's his Ford truck. Something coming at us with flashing lights. Probably the garbage truck, I bet. But pretty fancy light bar for a garbage truck. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Well, I talked to him long enough. I'm sure I lost my parking spot downtown. That's not good. I got the road diverted here for something now. Probably a funeral down here. They're blocking the road. No doubt, or a parade, maybe. <clears throat> Tough day for a parade. Yeah, look at the road, it's already packed. I'll be parking out by the, <clears throat> by the municipal today, no doubt. That's all right, though, too. I've been doing a U-turn at the municipal and then <clears throat> parking on the other side of the road, and then you get done, you just pull right out, and you're on your way home. And it makes it pretty simple. There's the other garbage truck. There's one of the towers for the cellular phone that's for the smartphone and I think uh, Sun is also using that that tower the globe tower that's way out by the hospital if you have globe you go out there you get a real good signal almost like being in a regular town nothing like out at our house but I'm amazed with the parabolic reflector that makes all the difference for us and I want to thank the guys that pointed that out to me. They were using mesh screens like uh, strainer screens and different things like that and adapting them. And uh, the Gadget Addict, he gave me some uh, good ideas. And then I kind of just improvised everything that I learned to my own thing. And then Shannon and I made a nice stand for it that one day. And, uh, once we found it, we found a sweet spot in our yard, which happened to be in our little greenhouse, which is nice, so it's dry. Uh, worked out pretty good. I'm looking for a plastic. Uh, wow, look at that. Now, there's there's actually a traffic cam on the corner there. I've never seen that before. wonder what that's all about. <laughs> i got to ask somebody about that. I think it'd be down here by downtown more, but... Maybe there are more downtown we just don't know about. Interesting. I'll get back to you after a bit.